Hi there, once again, welcome to Agiotech. I'm so delighted to have you back on my channel. Consider subscribing by supporting this channel and then also like and share this video. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorial. Today's lesson, we're going to see how we can create overlap letters using Adobe Illustrator. So in order to do this, we first need to create a background and we have to type in our text and then cause them to overlap each other. So to do this, let's go to file and then create a new background. So we're going to leave the background as A4, but the orientation is going to be landscape and we'll click on create. Okay, so we now have our background and we're going to type our letters. So that is going to be three letters for this. So it's going to be D, S, G this way. And then we'll use our selection tool and then we'll enlarge this. Depending on the version of the Photoshop you have, and you just have to press shift whilst dragging out in order to maintain the quality of your letters. Okay, with this selected this way, right click and then create outline. Go to create outlines. And then now we'll go back, right click again and go to what ungroup. Once this is ungroup, we cannot move them individually. So just this select, select outside and then this tomorrow we can select every individual letter from our letters. So we just go ahead and then try enlarging this. Let's do whole shift in order to maintain the shape of our letter. Just drag out in order to increase the size. And I think this is okay. And you can do, and you can do the overlapping the way I thought you want. If you look at final design, try to overlap from the top and then the bottom. You can decide to do it any way you choose to. Once you are familiar with what we are doing, you can do use any letter you want. So I just want to start this from the bottom here. I want to start this from the bottom here, and then also send a D to the top right here. Okay. So I just want to allow everything, but I just want to also go ahead and increase the size of my the other letters. So I'll hold shift, drag outside a bit. Do the same for this. Also drag outside a bit. Okay. I think this is cool up to this stage. Okay, this is cool. And then we'll go ahead and then try doing some modification to this. I'll still enlarge this a bit. Okay, so we'll go ahead and then change the background color of our design. Before that, I'll select everything. I'll select everything and then try to move this to the middle of my background and then i'll go ahead and then change the background of the entire design so i'll go back to my rectangle to select it and then drag it on top of this and it's going to give me a black background by default i'll go to the appearance fill color and then change it to something like ash color and then it's now on top of my text okay it's on top of my letters in order to bring it below i right click on this and then go to arrange and then send toward back so my text will now be back in front and then with my move tool i can position it in order to fit the artwork okay so we have this selected we have everything accurate now we can go ahead and then change the letter to any color at all you want so with individual letters selected i can go to the appearance go to fill color and then i can change that color so i want to change the x to white this way i think i'm cool with that you can see from here we use x for that we can just go ahead and then try to overlap them this s over here just appear on top of the d just Raw like that. You can see that this just at the bottom, but I want to weave this so the S will start from top and then it will pass the bottom of the D and then it will come, it will pass on top of the G and then it will pass below this. So that's what we want to do. So first, we'll go ahead and then select this entire shape once again. Okay, so our background is going to keep moving, and all we need to do is that let's try to lock our background. Let's go to object, go to lock, and then go to lock selection. That's what we want to do. So this time it will not distract us again. It's going to, not going to be moving. So let's select everything. And I'll go to our shape builder. Then we can select this. So select this part. You can see it has select that particular shape and then fill it with black because our default background over here, the fill color here is black. Okay. So we've selected that and we can target those parts we want to select let's just pick those parts out okay so now we have every part selected separately and then we can just target those parts and then fill them with a separate color 
but we actually want the white to pass on top of this and then pass below so we have to fill this color with a white color so let's go to our eyedropper tool and then just pick white from here and it's going to fill that color that place with white so you can see now that S is actually starting from the top and then it will pass below this and then we want it to pass on top of this. So let's select this and then we're going to pick white for that. Use the eyedropper tool and then select white and it's going to fill that part with white. So you can see it started from the top, passed to the bottom, on top and it passed through the bottom. So the entire distance has now been weaved together. Okay. If we want to redo this together, we can go ahead and then do that. You can see our fill color is white. So we'll go back to the shape builder tool and then all you need to do is just select the entire shape again go and use your shape builder tool and then just join this together this way you can see so now it's now a perfect shape now if you want to target this and do some modification we can do that and this side too we can equally do that so let's select this back again go back to our shape builder and then try to make this one under one shape okay so that is perfect and we are good to go so we've been able to weave this together now when we go ahead and then select this we can group this and then now if you want to move any of this it's going to be actually one image because we try to group them together so basically this is how to group or overlap letters using adobe illustrator remember to subscribe and also don't forget to turn on the notification but i want to show you a very amazing stuff using adobe software i'll be showing you more about after effects adobe premiere adobe InDesign. so stay tuned for that and other programming techniques consider subscribing if you are new to this channel and also like and share this video till i come your way again bye bye